Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Thursday. Sunny and cool for the royalty of the Zodiac. I know what you're thinking. Thank Goddess. Your Leos are all out there. Oh, about time. Things were not comfortable for you. I know how you Leos are. I love Leos. Well, the moon in your sign does make you very charismatic. You are on fire, especially for sales, any kind of thing like that. Basically, your emotional consciousness and your ego consciousness are working as one. So you are shining like a bright star right now. And take full advantage, Your Majesty. You deserve it. And it is a hard transit with Mars in the 12th. Cutting those weeds. Ugh tough. Nobody likes weeding the garden, do we? Now the sun in Scorpio, wrapping up chapter one today, really indicating by now you should really be pretty clear about what's not working as far as your potting soil in your soul garden, where you plant yourself. That's home, that's family, that's root systems. Basically it's savings. Sometimes it comes down to money and how we save our money. So we have a nest egg. That's a very cancer activity to put money away, like walnuts stored by, you know, chipmunks for the winter. So it may be a nest egg issue. Either way, you know what you have to do now to feel stronger, to feel more rooted. And the next two chapters of Sun Scorpio are really about moving forward with that wisdom. Also, I want to point out, you are about to graduate, Your Majesty, as is everyone on the planet, with a very long, deep issue. In 1996, in fact, think back to this. Work with me here. In 1996-97, you were asked by the universe to really start to face all of your childhood issues, your core inner soul wishes and dreams, getting to your wishes and dreams, understanding you deserve to have your wishes and dreams. What's ironic is you went through a Pluto transit in the area of consciousness that you're supposed to be a master of. So the universe has just taken the master celebrities and made them even greater master celebrities over this entire period of time. And a lot of Leos have been talking to me, how come I'm not light casting? How come I'm not seeing the fame? Well, I think a lot of it is this Pluto transit that said, Leos were wanting the wrong things back then. They weren't really being true to their inner child. They're really what's good for them. So the universe has made sure through Pluto that that happens. In fact, look at in the last year alone, since Thanksgiving of last year to this Thanksgiving, how much your dreams, your creativity, your inner child has changed. That's Jupiter's effect. And this Christmas, you are graduating this for the rest of your life, Your Majesty. All right, that's all we have for today. See you tomorrow at the weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So